Hello, how do you solve this problem? You have negative 9 to the power of t equals 9. You are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. And in this video, you are going to make use of two different methods. Now, the first method, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this negative 9 here with negative 1 times 9. Remember, negative 9 equals negative 1 times 9. So I have negative 1 times 9 raised to the power of t, and this equals 9. Now, considering this identity, if you have square root of negative 1, this equals i, that means imaginary number i. Now, if I take the squares of both of this, the square root here will eliminate the square here, and I'm going to have negative 1 equals i to the power of 2. So that means, i to the power of 2 equals negative 1. And there is negative 1 here. So I can just replace this negative 1 with i to the power of 2. So this equation here becomes i to the power of 2 because of the negative 1 here times 9 raised to the power of t and this equals 9. Now from here, I can apply logarithm. I have log of i to the power of 2 times 9 raised to the power of t equals log of 9. Now, whenever you have a logarithm property like this, if you have log a to the power of b, this equals b times log a. So, this property here will be applied right here. That means the t at this exponent will come behind the log. So I'm going to have t times log i to the power of 2 times 9 equals log 9. Now, there's also another logarithm property that we are going to apply right here because this is multiplication, i squared times 9. If you have log a times b, this equals log a plus log b. So that means this will give us t times log i power 2. Remember, this is like our a, and this is b plus log 9. And everything will multiply t because this t multiplies everything here. And this equals log 9. Have you seen that? Now from here, we can decide to isolate t because that is what we are solving for. I divide this by the same thing here, log i power 2 plus log 9. And I divide this by log i power 2 plus log 9. And what happens here is that this will cancel this. And what we are going to have left is just t, the t here. And this equals log 9 divided by log i power 2 plus log 9. Now, that's not all. I can still make use of this locating property. Remember, log a power b equals b times log a. We can apply this right here. So what we are going to have finally will be t equals log 9 divided by a 2 here. We'll come behind the log. We have 2 times log i plus log 9. So this becomes our answer using this particular method. Now, let's consider the second method. So we are just going to recopy the problem again. Remember, is negative 9 raised to the power of t equals 9. So what we are going to do is we are going to express this negative 9 as just what we did here, negative 1 times 9. So I'm going to have negative 1 
times 9, which is the same thing as negative 9, raised to the power of t, and this equals 9. Now, the next step I'm going to take will be for me to distribute this exponent. Remember, if I have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So I can decide to distribute this exponent to each of the terms inside the bracket. So that means I'm going to have negative 1 to the power of t times 9 to the power of t, and this equals 9. Now, at this point, I can decide to make use of this Euler's identity. If I have e to the power of i times pi, then this is plus 1. Everything here equals 0. And there is negative 1 here, so I can decide to move this positive 1 over here. Then it's going to change to negative 1. That means e power i times pi equals negative 1. So if that is the case, that means I'm going to replace this negative form here with e power i times pi. So this equation becomes e power i times pi raised to the power of t times 9 raised to the power of t equals 9. Have you seen that? So at this point, we go back to the same index log, a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So let's multiply this exponent out. We are just going to have e power i times pi times t times 9 to the power of t equals 9. So at this point, the next term I'm going to take will be for me to make use of natural log. Remember, natural log is to the base of e, so I have natural log of e to the power of i times pi times t times 9 to the power of t equals natural log of 9. Now, we still have this problem right here, and we are going to solve it making use of logarithm. Properties of logarithm are applied to natural log. If I have ln of a times b, this equals ln of a plus ln of b. So I'm going to apply that property right here. So I'm going to have ln of e power i times pi times t plus ln of 9 power t equals ln of 9. Now, we still go back to this same property again. If you have ln of a power b, this equals b times ln of a. Remember, properties of logarithm are applied to natural log. So this will come behind this. That means you are going to have i times pi times t times ln of e plus, you apply this property here again, the t here come behind this, we have t times ln of 9 equals ln of 9. So from here, you are going to have i times pi times t. When you have ln of e, this will give you 1. That is 1. ln of e is 1. Natural log of e is 1. So you have times 1. Plus, this is t ln of 9 equals ln 9. So from here, you can multiply this out. You are going to have i times pi times t plus t times ln 9 equals ln 9. So at this point, I can factor up t. So I have t times, you divide this by this, you have i times pi plus, this divide this, we have ln 9 equals ln 9. So, Solving for t, that means isolating this t, I divide this by i times pi plus ln 9, and divide this by i times pi plus ln 9. So, right now, this, we will cancel this, and we are going to have t alone. That means our t equals 
ln9 divided by i times pi plus ln9. So this is our solution as well. And remember we also had this other solution. This is our solution as well. So we have two different solutions and the both of them are absolutely right depending on the method that you are using. So that is it. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you and goodbye.